LA City's animal shelters under fire once again. And this time over complaints, shelter staff are turning away animals. Our KCAL 9's Jake Ryan are live in Woodland Hills tonight. And Jake, this is a problem of overcrowding that's now affecting rescue groups, right? Oh yeah, definitely, Leslie. And you mentioned animals are being turned away from these city shelters and they're coming to places like these, these independent adoption centers like Rock and Rescue here in Woodland Hills. Sit. Good boy. Ready? From the moment you step foot into AGWC Rock and Rescue, <coughs> you're properly greeted. Let me just get them a little bit quiet. Even interrupting our interview with owner Fabienne Origé, who has owned this nonprofit rescue for eight years. Milo, eight. But the truth is, this place has become overflow parking for rescued animals because LA's six city shelters are overcrowded, and there are reports of people being turned away from the shelters. At a hearing Tuesday, the Board of Animal Services Commissioners heard complaints from shelter volunteers. Why are employees still turning away cats? Yesterday there was another, somebody called about an eight-week-old kitten they found, and they were told unless it was injured to just let it go on the street. After numerous promises by management that this problem would be fixed, it is not. It is quite clear that giving staff any discretion as to which animals to take in does not work, and the department needs to return to accepting all animals who come to the door. As a result, right now Rock and Rescue is caring for 110 dogs and 40 cats. It's not just about the animals that we have here, but the request that we get. If we would literally take everybody, I think it would be like probably four times as busy. Take Canelo here. <laughs> Two days ago, Canelo was nearly put down, but AGWC stepped in to rescue him from the East Valley shelter. <laughs> Origé says the main reasons for overcrowding are people who adopted during the pandemic are now giving up their pets. Two of the six city shelters were closed during the pandemic, and animals aren't being spayed and neutered, so they're multiplying like crazy. That's just uh, like a, a ball rolling at very fast speed. Plus, Origé says the conditions at these shelters are less than ideal. How are these dogs going to get adopted if they are being left in a kennel for months at a time? So one suggestion that Origé mentioned that could work is for the city to issue free spay and neuter vouchers so that these animals aren't multiplying like crazy. We spoke, we reached out, I should say, to the L.A. Animal Services, but have not heard back. Reporting live in Woodland Hills, I'm Jake Reiner, KCAL 9 News.